Onivia, League of Legends highlights. It's like you get to build a couple more support items, you get to be a little bit tankier, and that's kind of it. Though the Trinomere, I was going to say one of the nice things about support, uh, or with when you take the center in the bot lane, a lot of times you don't play around it that much, and you can sink a lot. Accolade. So we think about how strong he is and how he's this facilitative point for the rest of the Ooh. team to grow. The River looking to maybe make a play over here. Root directly onto <laughs> Trinomere. Goes in with a Q, spinning away. No way. Jump no way. Safety under his dirt. River, can he get away? He just takes the shots and leaves. Inspired flashes for it. Gets the burn down. That is first blood for the young gun. No. Wards on the outskirts in the enemy jungle alongside that bot lane bush. So uh, maybe have some kind of semblance of knowledge that evil geniuses are taking their attention elsewhere for the moment being. But then now with Danny going and finding his way back to the bot lane, should continue to get up that farm. Has been fairly even in the later portions. JoJo deep in the enemy territory, swinging away on the Biofrost. Uh, Chompers end up landing directly below him. Get the zap as well. Activates the ultimate the Undying Rage to exit. Vulcan and Inspired were here for backup. <laughs> oh, no! Ultimate thrown out from Neo gets the finish up onto Jojo Pew as soon as that ultimate expires. Perfectly timed by Neo there. Betrayed a little bit by his team. I don't, I don't, I don't forget which one it hit, but the AoE explosion finishing off Jojo Pew. Nice punish there. I mean, sometimes when you're playing Trinomir, you really do think you're unkillable, but there is a window on that. Just a little bit too far forward there. Just a little bit of something that you have to be aware of. Darren in top, though. Fake God. Looking to get the lockdown onto Impact after that ultimate feeling good. Through lands for a moment onto Impact, but just going to get the disengage with the waves coming through in the fray. Yeah, nice stun by Impact Ooh, there. Good, though. Uh, so, a lot of map movements going on. They get the chunk out on Jojo. Hold on, they're still going. Oh, no, Fake God now the subject of three. Biofrost bringing his way into it to activate the ultimate after flashing or not getting the ultimate until this very moment. River finds the safety of getting the safeguard on to an enemy, <laughs> but in the end, it's Impact that falls. Two for one right now, Dignitas losing, and Jojo Pion, after shoving up in that mid lane, finds Blue right in front of his face. Swings over the wall, a flash from Blue. Stuff. But the 80 carries, having global ultimates to support team fights. You saw in that top lane skirmish, Biofrost actually had a nice one. Dignitas, they kind of chunked out Jojo and then felt safe enough to get the inside track after Fake God, you know, survived the attempt where they were looking at if they wanted to dive him or not. You know, we've just known so many Jinx rockets and the like. Oh, Root coming on to Jojo. He had the ultimate, though, so he pops it again. Yeah, Mike the Goes though. Whoa. Swinging, finds the right one, gets him down. Jojo for you now. One, one. in on a TP play here if it's up. Yeah, unleashed teleport can be such a threat. The, uh, the traditional teleport of time. Damn, inspired rich. He, he got that good, good money. Impact getting those good, good shots from Fake God, though. Throws it back, activates the Lord Dominus. Fake God gets the kill on the off of that action, but Jojo Pion manages to answer it back. A little stopped up by EG in their positioning. As far as the map save right now, though, Impact still residing over in that bot lane, does have his teleport available. Same with Glenn, who's actually joining the fight. Whoa, Whoa what a burn down. Neo, they no longer have their bot laner. And meanwhile, over towards the Riverside, a solar flare to try and get an additional kill onto River. They have lost three members on the side of Dignitas and Blue. He's got- Mounting a counter attack. They were looking for flank opportunities and EG were just too fast on the play. They're the ones who actually pulled the trigger. And because of that, positioned in a way where they can safely drop down that Rift Herald, finish off that bot side turret. So now, glad and aggressive mid is changing the NA meta. Already 3-0. This was supposed to be at 14 minutes. I don't think it was 3-0 at 14 minutes. It was 3-1 after that kill, so eh, wrong. Wrong, but what we got right is a play here for EG side. Danny gets the kill credit after a nice setup from Vulcan. So Blue and Biofrost, who were originally rotating down, have to back off. Fake God shoving up the confidence in the way EG can funnel over towards his top side. Jojo Pion spending a lot of his tension in recent times to usher that wave to take a tier two now. And even Flash if it's away, so this doesn't end up in a montage reel somewhere. Yeah. So uh, nice, okay. nicely done there to escape potential death and join up with the rest of his team. Still doesn't need it to get with the rest of them, so he says, hey, I moved quick enough. 
on my own. It's fine. It's fine. But meanwhile, over mid, Jojo Kyun, he's on the offset of three members of Dignitas. But Vulcan is looking for the class. Throws down the solar flare to finish off the kill onto River. Another blast down from a Jinx rocket to get the kill onto Jojo Kyun. Teleport from Impact, prematurely activating his predominance so that he can go in more effectively. And the stun up onto Neo. Immobile as he is, he cannot escape. Two down on the side of Dignitas. One for Evil Jinx. That's the power of the setup, being able to heal up so quickly. Trying to take out any wards that Dignitas throw into this pit as well. The four members of Evil Geniuses have been funneled into the pit, and Biofrost standing on the outskirts to see if he needs to get some CC in, try and turn in. But they're just taking over the game by now, says Emily Rands. Mm -hmm. ah. Might be the most. They have. They can escort this wave down mid. They've been able to just chunk down a lot of these turrets on the side lanes. And now taking down the mid one will give them the opportunity. Difficult for them to extend beyond their just base area right now. Oof. A solar flare thrown down by Vulcan to zone off Neo. Difficult for him to poke away when there's a lot of CC coming his way. Biofrost goes in, gets a charm onto two, but gets stunned up and taken down. Inspired with a kill credit. Fake God now on the retreat, throws down some needlework, but it doesn't hit anybody, which means evil geniuses more secure in their health totals to take down that inhibitor and continue the push. Don't have any minions yet, but there's still 20 seconds left on the Baron. They will get the mid ones in time to get a small bit of a Baron push in. Looks like they're going to prioritize getting the bot lane inhibitor turret, playing it smart, not trying to rush the end of the game, get your two inhibitors down, get your reset, spend all that gold from all that global gold that you're getting, get your items, and then position up for the end of the game. Feeling good about the healing that Danny provides, so even as they're getting punk or poked down rather a little bit when going for those inhibs, they feel okay. Now they can back off, oh. take the safe play. River, though, runs into a Jojo Kune here in the jungle. Tries to pursue him a bit, but Inspired's coming on the opposite direction. Connects with the Q in pursuit, and River is dead. Fake God coming on down for a moment, but there's nothing he can do about it at that point. Biofrost also looking to potentially get collapsed, but joins Fake God over. Get up there, Jojo's back up to full health after grabbing that red buff as well. And with River down, that's kind of one of the main engage tools available for Dignitas. It's going to be easy to grab this. EG might not reset at all, but now they're going to have triple inhibitors down. You can potentially just sit on top of them here, not let them out of their base, and wait for the double super creeps to show up. Oh, lad, looking for the 5v5 ultimate onto blue. They pop him. The so or the Leona ultimate's going to come up in just a little bit. Impact getting his and actually backing off. They got now the target of Jojo Pion, who's exhausted. They got goes into stasis to keep himself alive. And Jojo Pion backing off as soon as he activates that ultimate. Three down on the side of Dignitas. The remaining two of the bot lane of Neo and Biofrost retreating to the fountain for a little bit of sustainability. But meanwhile, Danny's healing up everybody, keeping inspired, keeping Jojo Pune on it. They take down one turret. They take down another one. Biofrost shielding up Neo so he can get additional poke. But inspired goes golden himself. Danny can get another hit onto the enemy ADC. Biofrost can't hold it on its own. Evil geniuses undefeated in the group stage.